And what's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Java Gamerdeal here, welcoming you back to a new series on the channel. If you guys don't know, I announced this earlier in the finale of the Pokemon Black, except for I caught Pokemon Black all the time. Pokemon Y2 Randomized and Lock. We are going to be doing a Pokemon Ultra Moon Genlock. Now, if you guys don't know what a Genlock is, you guys probably don't. A Genlock is where I am only allowed to use one Pokemon per generation. Yes, you heard that right. I can only use one Mon per generation. Which means that this is not going to be an easy task. It is going to be one of the more challenging series ever done on this channel. On top of that mystery, on top of making this as hard as I can, there's been a lot of randomization in this game that I do need to talk about because holy hell, I made this series hard on myself, but that is not a problem. I'm sure you guys are going to enjoy this that much better. Anyway, we have our randomizations. As this is a choose my starter episode, so I'm literally just, I'm not reading text, I'm just going to the, with the, the starter. But number one, we do have a 15% level boost in this game. We have also, unfortunately for Aaron, he actually won't know what the eighth totem or seventh totem is anymore because I had to assess a 10 percent level boost to the totems so i have no idea what they are either um but there is a 10 percent level boost that has been assessed to them so the totems have a level boost there uh the pokemon they bring in are don't have the boost but i don't think at least i could be wrong they could also have a boost but they have a boost every single important trainer has six pokemon there's a ton of important trainers in ultra sun and ultra moon that is part of the reason for the level boost so that i don't like lose level boost stuff because of that thank you to aaron to make me art as well um just gotta say that this is aaron's first time really doing art the way he did it so you know why not do it um and then what else we got what else is randomized first fully evolved at level 40 which means that in the middle of the third island there will be forced fully evolved Traders have an 8% chance of having a shiny Pokemon. Like, there's an 8% rule for them having a shiny Pokemon. On top of all of this, they random trainers can throw out random Megas for no apparent reason. Just have a Mega just for no reason at all. Um, what else is there? Um, there's a lot. And all of that will be located in the description. Moves are randomized, preferring same type. So, uh, they have a 60% bias towards Stab, which means that they could throw out with Blast Burn and stuff like that. What else is there, you may ask? Well, uh, the Totem Pokemon have random auras, which means we could go into this first Totem battle without knowing it, and it could have a plus three everything Megalodeus. It is not going to be easy. I purposely made it that way. This is going to be one of the hardest series i've ever done on my channel now i don't have the gift sprites i'm not using the gift sprites for this aaron specifically told me not to use them so i'm not gonna do it but you know it's okay i, I like gift sprites i do but like the fact that we have all of our like favorite pokemon on the layout and what i mean by favorite pokemon is pokemon that have carried us through nuzlocks you should see uh, in the, in the layout or in the thumbnail, you should have hacks the probable pass. You should have, you should see who, I don't know who you see in the thumbnail. I can't remember. I think you see hacks. I know you see Patrick, the bear tick. I know you see Biggers, the Gardevoir. Um, uh, you should see yo boy pizza, the Sunflora from my first ever Nuzlocke, my sacred fire Sunflora back in 2016. Like 
There's a lot of callbacks, and I really appreciate that. The first Nuzlocke I actually ever beat was Pokemon Black, and you have, and I, re I remember some of these Pokemon. It's like you got X the Purple Path, you got Shirley holding that amulet coin because she wants that money. I remember doing that so much. Like, there's a lot of things that I remember, and I, this is like it's a good callback. Honestly, I think that's one of the reasons why I wanted to do a Genlock. One, I've never done one before. Two, I get to use variety, and my encounters are now more important than ever that I get variety. Um, so I'm excited. I really hope you guys are excited. Um, also, by the way, static encounters are this like we got static encounters randomized. Oh, does it really? Okay. Uh, I thought that you could just pick them up immediately, but I guess can't. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of randomizations. Um, and I guess I'll concern the first route right now. So, I know we're not going to get there today's episode. But the first route has a static encounter that we can access. So, I'm going to allow us to get the static and the route one encounter. Um, I know that's kind of interesting, but that's how we're going to go about it. Uh, I just feel like that kind of seems like the best option for us. It's especially with everything that's randomized. But I really hope you guys enjoy everything. And, like, I'm going to enjoy this. I hope we get some good starters. Because, like, if we don't get good starters, this, this could easily fall apart. Like, it could very easily fall apart because ultra moon last time i did it we had 33 deaths i am not joking i'm expecting this series to be death ridden like we are going to run into some form of issue um and this is definitely a series that i could lose um, but actually, speaking of a series that I could lose, I need to mention a specific thing right now. I know I'm going kind of all over the board. I didn't rehearse this at all. Um, Megas. So, there is a possibility that we get Mega Pokemon. Obviously, if we get it, that's awesome. But, Mega Pokemon are going to be counted as the generation that their original Pokemon was from. So let's say I get like a Mega Audino. It's not going to be considered generation six. It will be considered generation five. So I have a possibility of having multiple Megas on this team. Now, mo that does mean that most Megas will be considered generation one. And holy crap, we're actually getting our starters right now. I didn't realize how short this episode was going to be. I had so much to explain in so little time. And luckily, I did it. It is a Nuzlocke, so standard Nuzlocke rules apply. Um, I have to nickname all my Pokemon, all that stuff. But yes, so if I get, like, a Mega on Dino, it's Generation 5, not 6. So, so, you know, um, I think that's the only weird out of, out there clause. But nobody, and I mean nobody, has done a Genlock of Ultra Moon. So I am the very first one. We're being innovative out here in the Gamer Squad. I make the, some innovative content. And I want to prove to you guys that I am worth it. So I hope I'm doing that. So we're out here. Um, but yeah, I am very nervous about this because, like I said, with all of the things that I did to stack this game and make this really against me, it is very nerve wracking. Um, Aaron knows the starters. I made sure that Aaron, I, I made sure that it was randomized, but I couldn't see it. So Aaron helped me with that. Like I said, Aaron doesn't know the totems because, uh, I had him check if the totems were randomized. Then I realized I didn't actually give him a level boost. Abilities are randomized. I do have to say that though. So abilities are randomized as well. Okay. So our starters, oh my gosh. So, uh, it's like, this is like the most... I'm, I'm really excited. I'm so hyped for this series. But, like I said, this is a choose my starter. So, I really... I was dumb. I really should have kept the layout on OBS. So I didn't have to render this video. Oh! 
Wolf? <laughs> now I'm going to have to render this video instead of just posting it. Damn it. John making some stupid decisions today. Um, that's why I... Okay. <laughs> Fun fact into my life. The whole reason I do the animated GIF sprites is because I can drag them and I don't have to edit. <laughs> it's not that I hate editing. Editing is fine, especially for like collaborative projects. But like, that's the whole reason I do the GIF sprites. Oh! Okay! So, we actually have three different generations to pick from. We have a Pidgeot, which could be Mega. So, actually, I will click Pidgeot to make sure to see if it's Mega or not. Um, so, you guys have an actual, like, um, so you guys actually can vote accordingly. Uh, so, we have a Pidgeot or potential Mega Pidgeot. A Weavile Aaron reference. Aaron literally named me after Revile because he got a Sneasel at his, as his starter. And a Trumbeak, which is the regional bird of Generation 7. It's the mid-evolution. So, let's click Pidgeot just to make sure to see if it's actually a Mega or not. Because, like I said, I want to make sure I'm giving you guys, like, the all-knowing knowledge of what I'm actually getting. Because, like I said, if it's a Mega, that, that could change your guys' influence on everything. So, I am going to, like I said, I'm going to make sure... It's still going to be considered Gen 1 if it is a Mega. So we have a Gen 1 Pokemon, a Gen 4 Pokemon, or a Generation 7 Pokemon. Um, so yeah, we, we'll, we'll go ahead and see if it's a, a Pidgeot or a Mega Pidgeot. Um, obviously, I won't save the game. But, okay, it is a regular Pidgeot. So that's what we're going to stay on with. I did not pick this as my starter. I just needed to make sure if it was a Pidgeot or not a Pidgeot. So anyway, so your choices are... Pidgeot, Weavile, or Trumpy. Let me know in the comment section below. There's actually going to be a poll on Twitter as well on the at the underscore camber duo. Because um, I really want to get this recorded really soon. And the sooner I can record it, the better. Anyway, I love you all. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Because we really appreciate you being here. This is going to be a really hype series. I love you all. Peace out, guys.